guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about my Ipsy bag. I know it's a little bit late in the month, um, however, so I accidentally uh, canceled one of my cr uh, credit cards and then it was the one that I paid for my Ipsy with, so um, they notified me and I kept kind of forgetting to uh, put in new credit card information. So then um, I ended up doing it like on the last day to still get it. So I got my bag later than normal, so I didn't get to like October 19th. And then um, I just haven't had time to upload my uh, bagging yet. So uh, yeah, that's why we're doing it so late in the month, but I hope some of you still kind of um, are interested in seeing what I got and what I think about them. All right, so let's just get into it. All right, so um, let's see. I did get a product outside my bag this month. Um, so the bag just kind of looks like this. It's like a red uh, lace type material. It's kind of soft feeling. Um, it says Ipsy on it, which is kind of like, I mean, I got it. They have to advertise for themselves, but it's not my favorite type of uh, thing to do. Um, and then it has a little bat on it. So, um, just getting to the bag, they have this little uh, card that comes with the bag, and it says, in my defense, the moon was full and I was left unsupervised, which I think is kind of fun and cute. Um, I think it'd be like a cute little thing to just like hang up in, I don't know, like an office or, you know, by your desk or something, just as a cute little uh, card. And then the theme for this month is Spellbound, which is kind of funny because that was the, um, theme for BoxyCharm this month. So it says, the leaves have turned, the air is cooler, nightfall starts a little sooner each day, everything feels enchanted, mysterious, and different. And this says, we're so bewitched by this eerie time of year and all the change it brings, and we're embracing our own transformations too. Swing by ipsy.com for ideas on easy ways to switch things up, plus everything you need to know about your October glam bag picks. Um, I feel like October is consistently kind of my favorite month for Ipsy. I don't know. I just, I like the bags. I think they're a lot of fun. Um, and it is, you know, the month I started Ipsy. I just, I think they do really fun um, themes in October. All right. So I'll start with the first thing I got that wasn't in my bag. It is the Urban Decay 24-7 um, Glide-On Eye Pencil in Perversion, which is like the black color. So it's kind of cool. It comes with this little card and then um, it has all the different colors that they have available. Um, obviously I got perversion. I haven't um, opened this or look at, looked at it or anything um, because I just kind of decided I was going to put it in my pile of things to give away to you guys. I always kind of struggle with, you know, should I swatch it? Should I see what I think about it? Or should I give it, you know, like put it in a giveaway? Um, I've been getting a lot of black eyeliners in my bags recently. So I just, I have so many, like I'm never going to use them all up. So I'm just going to, um, yeah, just keep this to um, for a giveaway. I'm planning on doing a giveaway once I get to 100, uh, I was going to say prescribers, <laughs> subscribers, sorry, um, got pharmacy on the brain. All right, so um, the next thing I have is this Dermalect Cosmace Cosmaceuticals um, Peptide Infused Nail Lacquer. Um, I have gotten one of these, and it's, and it's in my, um, what's it called, my, uh, Project Pan Roulette. It's, like, a nude color. Um, it was, like, one of the first products I've gotten from Ipsy. I've had it for a very long time. But, um, I did really like the formula, so I am happy to get another bottle from them. So it is, a, like, a green, like, pine tree type of color, um, in the color... What kind of sucks about this packaging, it doesn't say the, the color on the, the bottle. So that kind of, um, I don't know, just uh, constructive criticism. Um, but the color on the box is ver Verdure, um, B-E-R-D-U-R-E. -E. So I am happy to get this. I think it's very uh, different, and it is a really good fall color. All right, and I really do like getting nail polish in my bags. Um, I feel like consistently... You know, there's just certain products like like eyeliners. Like, I only need one eyeliner at a time. I don't need to have 17 black eyeliners. So I like getting nail polishes because very rarely do I get a color that I, um, a color that is, that I already have. So that's just something I like. And I feel like Ipsy just kind of, uh, I know a lot of times people will be like, oh, well, I only want to get makeup in my, in my bags. And I don't think Ipsy really does that. Like, I feel like 
every month there's always going to be a non-makeup item. You know, whether it's skincare, hair care, or a nail polish, like, you're always going to get something non-makeup. So if I'm going to get something non-makeup, like, I'd like it to be a nail polish or, like, hair care, you know, rather than skincare. But that's just me. Um, and speaking of hair care, the next thing I have is the Neon & Co. Treatment Oil. It says, brings dull, dry hair back to life. Um, creates shine and seals ends to eliminate frizz and flyaways. The ultimate multitasker, perfect for mixing or layering. Hair treatment oils, virtually weightless. Works on all hair types, even fine hair, without weighing it down. Um, I really do like using hair oils on my hair, so I am um, thankful to have this. Um, yeah, and it's a good size. It's 30 milliliters, so that's um, pretty good. All right. So the next thing in here is the um, Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer in the color Light, which um, would be the color that I would probably want to use, like a lighter color. Um, let's see, I guess I could swatch this one for you. Um, so let's see. So it's it has like a little doe foot al applicator similar to the um, Urban Decay, uh, what's it called, Pr uh, primer potion. Let's see. It's very like uh, moussey type uh, primer. Let's see. Oh, sorry, my lighting's kind of weird. So you can see it kind of like just right there. It has like a little bit of like a peachy color, but I think that'll be good for canceling out, you know, blue veins on your eyelids. So I am um, thankful to try this out and, you know, have a sample. Uh, I feel like eyelid primer lasts just forever like I had the primer potion in the, the smaller size and I bought it in November of last year and I think I finally used it up like in August or something like that so I mean it took me nine months to use the smaller size so I feel like um this is a good size um sample to have to try it and see what I think about it all right so my last product is a Luna by Luna um let's see uh Luna by Luna Lip Crayon um, in the color Ilara, which is, I think, a really pretty name. So it just looks like this. Um, and it looks like a, like a pinky, dusty, rose type color. And I think I'm just going to save this as another thing for my um, subscribers, just because I have so many lip products and I'm not, like, lip crayons aren't my favorite um, type of product to use, so I think I'm just going to save this for you guys. I'm sorry, I'm not going to swatch it and tell you guys what I think about it, but I just, you know, I just, I don't like, um, you know, just using something one time and then it just sits in my collection and isn't used, so I'm just going to save that for, uh, you guys. So yeah, overall, um, I think I'm probably most excited about the nail polish. I, it's not like a really awesome... Uh, month for me there wasn't anything I was too excited about but um yeah I don't know like lately I've just been I've been thinking about getting rid of Ipsy I've had it for two years now and I just I don't feel the same way as I did about it before like when I first started wearing makeup more um but I think it's still like I mainly just keep it around to do these videos for you guys so yeah um let me know what you guys got in your Ipsy down below in the comments and um Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will be seeing you guys soon. Thank you so much. Bye.